part of this, you know, I'm, I'm, this, this is kind of like a rant. This is, you know, I got all kinds of stuff in this video because I'm driving and wait a minute, do you see any passengers back there? No, but I'll get to that later in the video. In today's video, it's a rant, it's a challenge, and it's a bet. And there's a lot of great information about what it is to start a real business that makes real money, whether it's online or off. The principles are pretty much the same. Online just allows you to scale faster, bigger, and cheaper. But you still got to put in the work. Warning, listening to the Hustlers Kung Fu, the business school for hustlers may change your life, which may include making more money, dealing with your shit, stop being a scared little bitch, losing friends, breaking up with your wife, getting hot new young chicks, understanding how money works, learning to sell, learning how to start a business, moving out of your parents' house, becoming a boss, making new friends, moving up in life, and much, much more. Listen to this channel at your own risk. Now here's setting stuff up for the office. And I'm gonna say something that I don't think I would ever would have said before. If you are afraid of hardship, if you are, are afraid of things not being certain, then probably being a business owner, it's not for you. It's just something that's just gonna drive you crazy. You're gonna stay up all night freaking out. You're gonna be worried about life in general. Uh, certain things just gonna be beyond you. And that is one of the reasons that Hustlers porn is so pervasive because the gimmick, the hook, the angle is you don't really have to work that hard or worry about anything and you're going to have great rewards and great results for from little to no effort. And it's just, it doesn't work like that. It just doesn't, but you get it over and over and over again and like I said, probably on Personal Development for Hustlers, the other channel, I will get into that, how you can prepare your mind for the truth and how you can avoid Hustlers porn and set yourself up real nice to make some juicy coin the real way. I mean, that's one of the things. This is the reason that I tell you the stuff I've been through. I, I tell you about the five businesses that failed. And some people take that as, well, if you had a business that failed, well, you, you shouldn't listen to them. And this is really, really interesting. Everybody that I know that has made serious money has had serious setbacks. I know of no one. And we'll, we'll use some stuff that, you know, uh, we'll use people that everyone knows. Bill Gates got sued by the federal government. Zuckerberg sued, getting sued now. It's a lawsuit against him now because he was trying to well i think they fixed that because uh, they bought all of this land in hawaii and it was air property and then you know essentially forcing people off their land and then they stopped that so i don't know how that's going to work out plus you know when facebook started there was the big lawsuit everybody but then again you know he actually stole the concept so looks that way based upon the movie i wasn't there i don't know if it's true but larry ellison oracle serious setbacks elon musk serious setbacks but people will bring them up steve jobs major setbacks death from cancer and they'll bring these folks up who have well documented examples of failure steve jobs got fired from his own company but for some reason people are still seduced by hustlers porn it's very interesting it, it, it's, it's very crazy and if you want to be successful I got two pieces of advice for you if you do nothing else these will help you more than anything learn how to solve problems and learn how to keep your mind when shit goes sideways things bad things will happen you uh, with that Sometimes when something bad happens, that is an opportunity for something great to happen because let's take years ago, the meltdown with eBay. It forced me to push Craigslist really hard. I don't think that I would have done that if I didn't wake up in 2000 listings were gone and money was locked up in PayPal. 
it forced me to perform at a higher level. So the more that you push yourself, the more that you fail, the more that you expose yourself, the greater rewards you have, the more money. I mean, the more fuck ups you have, the more money you'll make. If you can manage to keep your sanity during the fuck ups. That's the tricky part. That's the part that's a little daunting because then you've got to own some bullshit. You have to, you know, look at yourself and say, hey, I fucked up. I remember years ago in a break room, I used to work at Northside Hospital and it was me and four of the coworkers, they were all female. And I said, I had made a mistake. And this one woman, let me say, let me get this straight. You a man said you made a mistake, you know? And I was like, yeah, everybody makes mistakes. She said, no, I've never heard no man say that. And if you can admit your mistakes and press forward, your success is almost assured. But if you're one of those people who could never been wrong, let's take a numb nuts, who's my favorite whipping child this year, who was proven to be wrong over, mm-mm, nope, uh-uh. All of you are fakes. All 50, 60 people who commented on this video, you're all fakes. Go to um, the eBay video I put up, which wasn't really selling anything. Check out the comments. And you, this person said, 60 70 some people were all fakes because it did not correlate with his information or his belief systems and there are people who you can literally tell that water is wet and if those facts those physical scientific facts do not jive with whatever's in their head they will tell you water's not wet and be serious as a heart attack that's numb nuts and that's a fixed mindset, which is very dangerous to have in an ever evolving business world that we have today. So if your mind is fixed on some stuff, and I give you an example, um, like I got, you know, you saw the picture of the new computer equipment and stuff. In my mind, I had a plan. I'm gonna have this other area, and then the client's people are gonna be here in the first part. Well. I saw due to the numbers and growth and where we want to go, that wasn't going to work. So I had to change up on the fly. I had to create a new plan. But the opportunity is expansion. We're growing very, very fast. Now, that's a really good thing, but that's, you know, growth is like fire. As long as you can control the fire, it's great. But if the fire gets out of check, then your building burns down. So that's kind of one of the things that we got to manage right now. Manage growth, manage expectations, and things like that. But this is comes from being wrong. You know, sometimes when you're wrong, that is actually a good thing because it opens the door for better things to come out. But some people, no, I'm not! They can't be wrong. Because they've not done anything in life of any significance. And the only thing they have of high value in their mind is their opinion. Not facts, not proof of concept, not money, not results, just what they think. And in the United States of America, it is a great thing that we all can have an opinion and freedom of speech, but facts are there are some people who are smarter than other people. Facts are there are some people who have better experiences than other people. Facts are, there are some people who outperform other people. Yes, we're all created equal in the eyes of the law, but we're not created equal when we're getting out here executing. Nope. And that's something that many people miss. They really, really miss. And it creates some strange conversations because I think a lot of this comes from the big change of society where many men due to having single mothers are not allowed to go through the consequences of being a man meaning getting in a fight getting your ass kicked where you learn how to work out deals where you learn that if you hit someone they're gonna hit back where you learn that certain behavior is gonna cause you pain many of people have been um, that those lessons have been circumvented so you have people out there 
who are doing these things and then when they run across some adverse consequences such as getting their ass beat for speaking out of turn or saying some crazy shit then all of a sudden the world is wrong and the reality was they were wrong uh, I had this conversation on Facebook with someone and you know uh, you can disagree with me what you want to but I, I'm 50 years old I remember a world where people didn't act the way that people were acting now now this was a time when most kids either got spanked yes you know parents putting their hands on kids or they had some serious serious repercussions for very bad behavior and we got into this world where don't say anything to kids don't touch them just kind of let them do what they want to do now we also have based upon numbers look it up 30 something almost 40 percent of millennials are living with their parents this is that generation that didn't get those consequences and lessons that i got half the country makes less than thirty-eight thousand dollars per year you got a lot of things where because people have this some people have this expectation that if they show up that they're entitled to a six-figure job just because they got they went to college it's not true and there's this big shakeup because there's this a term adulting look it up I thought it was funny but it's a real term adulting because a lot of these kids do not feel the value of accomplishment and achievement because so many things were given to them or they weren't taught consequences so it's really fucking with their minds it's fucking with their self-esteem it's fucking with their money it's fucking with their future but I think and this is just a hundred percent me that if every kid male female had to do compulsory two years of military service before going to college we would have a much better country we'll have more people with shared experiences and a lot of this bullshit that you see now it wouldn't be going on um just wouldn't be just my opinion today i am going out and i'm getting computers for the office now here's something that's really a big part of scaling getting the right infrastructure because what I'm doing is building this business to grow. Everything that I do includes a component for future growth. Because if you don't do that when you're building your business, you're going to trap it at a certain level. And it's just gonna stay there, regardless of how hard you work. And I know this, this is why I'm following my own advice. And if you are going to hustle your way into a business you got to look at not only where you are today and your desires today and your wishes today you got to look five years ahead which can be very hard if you've never done any of this before and this is why I think everyone should have some kind of hustle something where you can get business skills now, with that, eBay, Amazon are great places to start. They're just not good places to end up. And I'm gonna explode some stuff because if you are broke dick Danny, then you move up to, you know, classy Carl, you got a few shillings in your pocket, and you're doing eBay and Amazon, and you net out at eight to 10 grand a month after all expenses, you still don't have a business, nor should you be compared to someone that went into the business with two or three million. Um, Google this, Pharma Packs. They're the biggest seller on Amazon. Now, here's the backstory. The guy who started Pharma Pack was rich already. He was a pharmacist with one pharmacy and he was opening up another. So we're talking about millions of dollars worth of sales before he even got anywhere near Amazon, okay? Then he went out and got his friends. Google it, the story's online. So a pharmacist, guy makes a decent money, he ain't hanging around broke dick any. So let's just say all of his friends were on his level. 
So more than likely, this business, which is only five years old, biggest seller on Amazon, five years old, was started by millionaires. You cannot compare and contrast yourself if you're broke Dick Danny or Classy Carl to those guys. They were already richer than you before they even started. I'm talking about, let's just say this guy wasn't ambitious. Because when you see the uh, video clips, you'll see he's very ambitious. They got big, big goals. And it's, this is what people do. Someone will put that out there as a success story without proper examination of the facts. So here's somebody who started with millions, and let's just say he kept the pharmacy. Say, you know, going back to him not being that ambitious, he would have still retired a millionaire. Still, because one of the things they did was they bought a warehouse. Now, let me tell you how commercial loans and stuff work. You just don't go in the bank and say, "Hey, I want to, I want a seven hundred fifty thousand dollars for this building." Bank's gonna like, "What's your? How are you gonna pay this loan back?" They're not gonna look at, well, you know, we're gonna become pharma packs and we're gonna make all this money. No, they're gonna look at your current revenues. So he had the revenues buy a million dollar building and retrofit it and scale up and order product and hire people. Stop comparing yourself to that person because this guy, the pharmacist, was already a business person going into another business. You starting from scratch, well, let's just say you're classy Carl, you got some shillings. You can't, you can't compete. You can't compete. And this is the thing that many people just don't understand because this guy, he, yeah, largest uh, seller on Amazon, also has his own website more than likely still has the pharmacies and probably some other stuff because he's not stupid he's a real business person and more than likely they're going to probably get to a billion dollars in revenue very within the five or six years but he started with millions and he's moving fast they have their own repricing software. They change the price on their stuff several times a day. Some, day, some part of the day they take L's, some part of the day they take uh, W's. Uh, and they fuck with people too. This I know for a fact. They will come after you on Amazon. But because they are the biggest seller on Amazon, they can do stuff that you can. They can actually pick up the phone and call Amazon and someone picks up and like, hey, biggest seller on Amazon. Once again, let that go. You are better off starting a small e-commerce business in an area that a lot of people are not in than trying to duke it out with this person, which was what a lot of people do because, um, well, actually, no. That's actually a hard category to get in. But many people will try to fight with this person versus doing their own thing. And it's just not in the cards. Part of this, you know, I'm, I'm, this, this is kind of like a rant. This is, you know, I got all kinds of stuff in this video because I'm driving and wait a minute, do you see any passengers back there? No, but I'll get to that later in the video. You know, I just had a very interesting thought that was prompted by a comment. Thanks, Ebony. One of the reasons so many people think that I'm driving for Uber is that I do these driving videos. And one of the reasons I do these driving videos is because I'm so fucking busy, they don't have time to sit down and set up a video. So I'm cramming as much into my day as possible. But to those with limited intellect, he's always in his car. He must be driving for Uber. He cannot be better than me. He can't be making more money than me. He cannot be a true financial and business educator. He can't do that, because I can't. And that's the logic. Well, for those of you, there's the $10,000 bet. Prove it. Prove it. Don't just say it and accuse me of it. Fucking prove it, because you can't prove it, because I don't fucking drive Uber. But in that light, part of 
running the business, because see, I'm gonna do something very different. 2017, I have a client and we're building out a e-commerce business. And what we're doing is we are putting a lot of money, time and effort into growing the company. Hold on a second. And I'm gonna document the process. I can't really get into the internals, but I can show you the office. I can show you the employees. You know, they're real people doing this because it's a real business. And I'm gonna start doing something that I've never really done before. I'm not gonna call people out. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna go to someone's website and become a troll and let my troll hair down and just start pissing all over the comment section. No. I'm going to provoke you to a higher level of thought. Someone says they are a business person on the internet. Skepticism is healthy. That's just normal. However, when you come at me, someone who can be Googled, someone who has books on Amazon, someone who has online courses, someone who has been around for nine years, and compare me to someone, you can't find shit out about them other than hustler porn type stuff. That makes me think you're fucking stupid. And it makes me think that you are incapable of starting a business because you just don't have the intellect. You just don't because you can't problem solve. You can't research. You can't come up with sensible and sound conclusions. You ain't got it. What did that lady say in the metrics? The matrix. You ain't the one. Except, you know, he hadn't made that decision. You know, it's just when Trinity put those lips on him, then it's all of a sudden he became the one. But for real, for real, in life, you ain't the one because you don't have what it takes. And what you're going to do, and a good friend of mine actually explained this this uh, conundrum, this situation, as demolition people. If you can't do it, you're going to tear down the people who are. You're going to make comments. You're going to say stuff. You're going to do these things because you're perfectly incapable of being what you hate. Just some food for thought as you wake up every day and start to think about things that you want to do for your business. What kind of business do you want to have? Uh, what kind of life do you want to have? What kind of lifestyle do you want to have? How do you want to, where do you want to live in the world? Instead of coming online and looking at hustler porn, which is what a lot of people get. And I'm going to get into that probably on some of the other channels about why that stuff works, the, the science behind it and why it's so pervasive. But for people who are trying to do something big, you know, get started. This, this channel is going to help you quite a bit because I'll be able to show you the beginning, you know, you know, throw up, you'll see some screenshots and, and photos throughout this video of where we're going. Plus I ran another office and you'll get to see, cause you know, here, here's the thing about growth. Kind of going back to what I said earlier. We had planned on sharing the office, but due to the fact that we're growing very fast and I already see in a matter of weeks, this office is gonna to be topped out with the client's people. I am getting my own office for Mac Daddy Media. You will get to see both companies grow from the outside. Because like I said, I can't show you the internals and that's what a lot of people want. And also, this will be real clear. You know, I'll probably give you screenshots with certain things blacked out because if you own a website and you're co coming on YouTube and you're trying to help people and show your website, what you're going to do is fuck up your metrics. And what I mean by that is people come into your website because let's say, hey, go check out blah, blah, blah website, right? And that's in the video. It's going to skew your, your Google Analytics 
because you got a bunch of looky loos coming just to see what you have versus real customers coming to purchase. That's going to be a problem. So, just for all the naysayers and once again, other folks, you ain't getting all that because it will fuck up the real money. Now, that's something that a lot of people don't really talk about the real money. I'm not going to do uh, screenshots and stuff of my bank account and all this other stuff. That's a good way for someone to rob you or someone to, you know, take over your identity. And I see people doing that stuff and I just wonder how many of them are going to be the victims of identity fraud in the future. But I'm going to show you some stuff of the, the real stuff of building, the process, the how to make this thing really happen. Hey, this is Glennon Cameron, founder of HustlesKungFu.com. Be sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss another wonderful video that could literally change your life.